Alberta. Just across the Alberta border. As in Canmore now. So if you're like me and you drive an electric car or you're interested in driving an electric vehicle because you want to cut carbon, the plot really thickens as you move to Alberta from British Columbia. BC produces something like 95% of its electricity with hydroelectric dams and those emitted their carbon when they were being built a long time ago, but basically as you drive around and use electricity in 2019, 2020 and so on, you're not really emitting very much carbon in British Columbia. As you move to Alberta, something like 87% of their electricity is produced with fossil fuels. 50% uh, of their electricity is produced with coal. Um, the rest, you know, with natural gas. Uh, only 13% of their electricity is produced with renewables, mostly wind and solar. So in Alberta, you're essentially driving your car on coal. This isn't so good. Um, now, some people who are enthusiastic about electric cars say that, uh, or they, they point out that gasoline motors are only 25% efficient. That is, they only turn 25% of the fuel energy into movement. The rest is wasted as heat. Um, at a power station, like a, a natural gas power station, the turbines are much more efficient. Uh, something like 40% of, of the fuel is converted into electricity. So the 40% at the, at the power station versus 25% in a vehicle, uh, you, you might save a little bit by driving an electric car. Other people have also pointed out that electric cars have huge lithium-ion batteries, like this one, which probably took about 10 tons of CO2 to create. Um, so that levels things out somewhat. And also there's line losses. So really, I think it's, it's hard to argue that this car is saving carbon emissions as we drive it through Alberta. So why drive a car like this one? Why drive an electric car in Alberta? Um, certainly some people think that Teslas are really cool and I, I agree, Teslas are awesome cars and they're at the forefront of uh, automated driving technology and there's a, there's a bunch of really cool gizmo things in them. Um, this electric car is just a nice car to drive, I suppose. Um, but also, I think there's a move in Alberta to put solar panels on roofs and, and other initiatives and, and to try to change their electric grid. Certainly one of the coolest things we saw as we were in Calgary uh, was my, all the solar panels on my sister's roof. I guess the, recently the provincial government provided some, some subsidies and grants to put solar panels up. I think the idea was to try to shift their grid from one that just uses fossil fuels to one that also is using renewables and also maybe reducing the line losses because most of the electricity that you're using is only created a few meters away up on your roof. Um, there's a lot of advantages to putting solar panels on roofs and certainly over the long term my, my sister and her family stand to benefit financially from this too. That's pretty cool. What do you think about that, Carolyn? We're pretty excited to contribute to the change. Yes. We're leaving Calgary, driving towards Edmonton. So I'm hanging out in the back seat for a change. Um, I'm six foot three and this feels like business class back here. Amber's driving. Uh, she likes to pull her seat fairly far forward, but man, there is a ton of room. So, um, yeah, it's really nice to sit back here. But, uh, certainly a lot less fast chargers in Calgary. I think there's something like four non-Tesla fast chargers in Calgary. And if you compare that to the lower mainland in British Columbia, I think in, uh, in, a, in and around Vancouver, there's, there's over 20. So, uh, yeah, things are a little different out here. So I guess if I were living in Calgary, I might be a little bit reluctant to, to go electric. Um, and, uh, my friend pointed out, he looked underneath the Kia Nero here, and he, he looked underneath and thought, hmm, he didn't know if that would stand up to a typical suburban street after a heavy snowfall on the prairies with all the ruts. Uh, a lot of people in, in places where they get a lot of snow like to have an off-road vehicle. This is not an off-road vehicle. 
you know, that's a, I think that's a fair point. Um, but I think electric cars are, are going to get there soon. I think there's going to be an electric vehicle for everybody pretty soon with, with Ford and Rivian putting out trucks. Deer, and we are here charging. As you can see, there's two fast chargers put up by the Shell station, which is a money making enterprise, but these chargers are free. So, Red Deer makes up for Calgary. Woohoo! Go, Red Deer! One interesting thing that we've just discovered getting to the prairies is, is that there's block heater outlets everywhere. It's freezing cold here in the wintertime and people need to plug their cars in, which means every parking lot in Edmonton has these outlets that you can plug your car into in the summertime. Happy car! Just to think, Her Majesty the Queen has been here in this spot on the Alberta Prairie. She's been to see the gigantic Easter egg. What a sight it is to behold. Does anybody know how to dance like a Ukrainian person? <laughs> <laughs> 